Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to optimize your Nintendo Switch. I have a couple tweaking that you can do that will help you to stabilize, first of all, your FPS and also to improve your internet on the Switch. So first of all, go to System Setting, go at TV Setting, click on it. So the first thing is the TV resolution. You want to lower this. It really depends. If you like your FP, your current FPS and you don't feel the lag, just stay at 1080p if your TV is 1080p or monitor. But if you're playing, I don't know, Fortnite or like Doom Eternal and you feel that you're dropping a lot, go to 720p. So you kind of emulate the uh, undock resolution, but your console is dock. So uh, that will help you a lot with your frame rate. So for example, in Fortnite, the, yeah, the game is locked at 30, but you will, get a, like, you will not get a lot of random drop uh, when you're playing at 720 when you're dock mode. So uh, it, will up, it will help you a lot to stabilize your FPS. RGB range. This one, uh, you have like a tree option. Don't go automatic. It's causing like some random issue with color. Uh, I had like bad color in my Zelda Breath of the Wild and I didn't know it. When I did this test, I was really impressed by the color. So normally limited range is for like really old TVs and full range. It's for like maybe the 10, the past 10 year TV, even maybe more. So make sure that you're using this one. Don't use the automatic setting. It seems to have like some issue. So really important. Click this one. So now uh, we optimize the uh, console for the FPS. Now we will optimize the internet. So we will go to the internet settings. Uh, I will not show you the internet settings like uh, all the uh, step because I don't want to show my IP and stuff like that. So let's go to internet and internet settings. So after that, you choose internet and internet settings, you choose the one that you currently connect. So probably your Wi-Fi. Go to change setting and you will have an option called DNS setting. This one, you want to put it at manual. You don't want to use the automatic one. If you're using the automatic one, you're using the DNS from your internet provider and they're probably not the best. So um, when you use the manual, I recommend the one from Cloudflare. This is pretty much the best on the market. You have open DNS, Google DNS, but uh, it, uh, with some benchmark currently for the past year, like Cloudflare was currently the number one. It's not a big difference, honestly, when you compare with Google Open or even your uh, internet provider, but still you can get a nice improvement over there. So primary D DNS, just write 1.1.1.1. So this is your primary, and if something happened with the primary DNS, you need to add a secondary DNS. It's 1.0.0.1. So this is pretty much how you can like use your um, your DNS. So now you just have to save. It will be better to render like internet pages, and it can help you uh, also with some maybe ping uh, your MS, lower a little bit your MS, and also maybe download a little bit faster uh, when you download a game. So this is pretty much it for the DNS. One more thing, it's the uh, USB dongle with the Ethernet port. Um, the Nintendo Switch, the Wi-Fi is always like searching if you're if you're still connected and stuff like that. And it's causing a little bit of like you will lose performance because of that. That's why in some uh, offline game, you can put the console in uh, air mode and it will help you a lot with your frame rate. This is because of the Wi-Fi. When you use the USB dongle uh, when you plug with a cable, it will skip all those steps in the console and it will be a lot smoother. First of all, Ethernet cable is better for online gaming versus Wi-Fi and you will skip all the search searching process from the Nintendo Switch uh, to make sure that you're uh, still connected to Internet. So this is really important. So that's about it, guys. If you have any question, just come into the YouTube section, post me like any question about your Nintendo Switch or optimization or maybe some issue that you currently have. I will try to help you the best that I can. And also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.